Bricks, bricks, bricks. Oh, how I love me some bricks. And this is how I made them. I always find myself some way, somehow ending up with projects where it requires me to make a brick building or incorporate bricks in some way, shape or form. After cutting out all the wall pieces that I was going to need for my model, I then scored every single piece, line by line, brick by brick, one at a time. And when you're doing the scoring, you definitely want to make your scores deep because once you add paint and you start to layer it up with different things that we're going to be doing later on, it could uh, definitely take away from the texture. And so make sure it's nice and deeply scored. And of course, this is something that can really be somewhat boring, but for me, it was somewhat therapeutic for this particular project. But that's not to say that there aren't times where I really don't want to do it. But in the end, it always is very satisfying to see it all come together and the texture just looking super good. Now we're ready to do some painting. I first started off with a layer of gray, just a coat of gray, and I didn't want to cover the whole thing entirely. So throughout most of it, I used a dry brush technique as you're seeing here with the adding a little bit of that burnt orangey look that you have with your uh, traditional bricks. And I didn't want to add too much because this is supposed to be like quite weathered and very, very much rotting and falling apart, so to speak. So it was going to get a lot of aging work done. And so I didn't paint the whole thing all one color, but rather a mixture of colors to really get that authentic natural look that you would get with the real weathered brick wall. So this wall, pretty much it could be done here, you know, and it looks really good already. Uh, I was pretty happy with it there, but it wasn't the look I was going for. So I continued aging it and really wearing it down some. And usually if you take a really good look at brick walls, sometimes you'll see that some of them have variation of colors and there might be one or two different bricks that uh, have a slightly different tone to others. And uh, if you take a good look at, at a wall, you'll kind of notice that. And that's what I was doing here was just kind of selecting certain bricks to be the ones to kind of pop and stand out a little bit. And it kind of gives some dimension to the wall as well. And for this little rooftop bit here, I went pretty heavy with the aging here because uh, I really wanted it to look like it was just rotting away and falling apart. And because in my experience with production design and art direction, you really have to exaggerate things for camera because it may not read. It may look good to the eye, you know, the naked eye, but once it's in front of a camera, you might lose some of the, the details if you don't really exaggerate it. And this is the back wall. And I did the same thing with this one, kind of making it look really, really, really gross, really just decaying. And that was the look I was going for. The original plan was to go through some of these walls and actually break off some of the bricks and beat it up some more and have some missing bricks. But I didn't have time to go through and do that. As much as I wanted to, I had to let that one go and uh, save it for the next one, I suppose. And at this point, you would think I was trying to master bricks. Maybe I am, I don't know. I do love making them and I like trying to make them look as real as possible each time I do make them. And every time I do make them, it seems to be better than the last. So I guess I'm on my way to mastering bricks. I don't know. And to kind of give it more texture, I decided to pour a little sand into the grout. It's a technique I've not tried before, so I was just kind of playing around with it and seeing how it would work, and then sealing it with a little watered down PVA glue. And so I just used some canned air to get rid of the air pockets. And once it was dry, I went back through and actually aged the walls a little bit more just to really give it that grungy look and to kind of uh, blend the texture in a little bit. And uh, that's how I make my bricks, at least for this particular project. In the end, the fundamentals basically the same. It just uh, really depends on how worn down the brick is and how neat you want your bricks or how imperfect you want them. But there you have it. Bricks galore. <laughs>